she's yeah. always the first one I go to with new paintings or new ideas or new anything and it's always been that way um, and I'm always the first I think I'm the only one who's read every single poem she's ever written she used to go up with us 13 and 14 and scavenge my room looking for poems I'd written that and she'd take them out determined that they were going to be in sunlight and on a drawer and well I think kind of grew up in that creative environment so just thought it'd be nice to have my first show at home my first one my first solo show at home from the paintings, um, which is really, really great. Um, and as well to have Valerie responding to the paintings in this way, it you know, brings a whole new dimension to the work as well. Um, it was an absolute pleasure to work with her over the last few months and I can have no doubt when I say it that she has a very, very bright future ahead of her. And I look forward to seeing more and working with her a lot more. So thank you for all for coming and thank you for You will all agree with me that the standard of excellence is second to none. You are a great ambassador for Ballymac and Lamford. I would like to encourage as many people as possible to get involved in the arts and participate in writing where there can be a wonderful exchange of ideas and information. It started with my graduate show because um, the paintings that I was doing, I was working a lot with text, but I couldn't find the words that I wanted so I asked mum to come in and write a few things based on it and um, it worked out really well and I was really happy with it so when I had I wanted to have a solo show so I asked her would she write based on the paintings and give her interpretation on what she felt it was about so that's kind of how it started. Well tonight has been shown like she said she would email me a picture of whatever painting she had done I took my interpretation out of it sent her back what I had written. She chose a line to put it on canvas or board her. But I like, I'm kind of wary about talking too much about it because I prefer when people project how they feel onto it. But it originally started with the kind of the concept of body image and the female. And I think females are notoriously hard on themselves. You know, we have like, oh, there's a lot of societal pressure, but I think we put an awful lot of pressure on ourselves. So I guess the work was based upon those moments where you're kind of, by yourself and you're feeling that pressure, Do you know, kind of, I suppose very much about body image and how you feel about yourself, but definitely the pressure you put on yourself as, as a woman, I suppose. That's scanned in pictures. Um, no, she got well, in pictures emailed. in every... Um, in every, as, as cordon as she would do some of it, she would email it to me. Like so I didn't get the finished piece, I got the works in progress. So I, I could get seven or eight images of one paint and I could get 10 or 12 of another. Since uh, I began work developing creative writing or supporting development of creative writing in the county, Valerie has been a tremendous supporter. Whenever we organise a reading or an event of any description, Valerie is always there to help out and to turn up and you can guarantee rely on her being there. And it's an indication of her commitment to her own talent and her own work. She's a very fine poet. I haven't actually read any of her prose yet, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, tonight she's here to read some of her uh, poetry. And I don't think it'll be very long at all before we're here celebrating the launch of uh, Valerie's first anthology of creative writing. Uh, it was easy enough in one way because I kind of sat with them. I knew I wasn't under pressure to give her the work. So I was able to sit and chew on them and, and look at them over and over again. And that's how the writing formed from it. You're never overwhelmed with words when you read Valerie's poems. And, and tonight you'll get to, to, to hear them. You're only overwhelmed by her words. Valerie's not the only talented uh, artist from the Masters family that's, that's here tonight. Uh, Lorraine is, as well. And Lorraine, like her, her mother, to me is all about focus and, 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 and power. I know nothing about the techniques of, of painting, uh, but how she manages to, to achieve what she does is frankly is uh, 
astonishes me. I've no idea how someone so so young uh, can produce such confident and, and mature art. Uh. She wanted me to put my interpretation on it, and I wanted it to match what she was thinking, which I didn't know. So in that sense, it was challenging because I didn't want to write something and have her look at it and think that has nothing to do with what I just painted. You know, and I felt the pressure because it was her solo show, because she was coming home to do this, and this is her career, like that. I'm hanging on her shirt tails, and you know, I love poetry, but it's not something I'm going to put into a career. This was her passion, her dream. So for that, I found it challenging just to get it right. It, did, it really did. She kept trying to come back from it, even with the, the invitations and stuff, I had to kind of say, no, it has to be collaboration, because that's what it was. It just, it was easy, it's easier, I think, sometimes to make the, maybe the words follow the paintings rather than the other way around, because I think sometimes when you try to paint words, you get really literal. The first one is fabled. You told me a fairy tale along my skin, trailed a love story that shivered me and left me loved and alive. You spun a life that I wanted to write, lock into a book and bind with your lips. You disappeared and I searched the world, but somewhere dark I lost my way and never was found. And the fairy tale you told along my skin ended my life with a broken goodbye. The space between, that's where I seek you when the dark takes over and I'm alone with my thoughts. That's when you arrive and tuck me in, into my thoughts into my dreams. That's where you stay, till the harsh light of day removes you from me, and I'm alone with the skin I no longer belong in. Lessons. It took all I had to learn a way to give what I gave you, to cover the pain. The demons I buried to keep them at bay ate at my flesh, tore me to shreds. But no matter how hard I fought them, I lost and I drowned in the call of the night. We are every goodbye spoken, we are not even real. And rapping. You couldn't love this ugly, or so I believed. So I attacked the ugly I thought you could see. Tore at the outside, ripped up my skin, taking the one thought that then you'd want me. You sought to unwrap me, to make me not see. Told me the rapping was a worthless need. But it stripped me too bare. And there is not where I wanted to be. For my soul is dark and not for your eyes. Best you don't look there, for I can't be healed. <laughs>